March 28th, want to talk to y'all about poverty mindsets. I talked for quite a number of years and I look at these kids today. I just saw a young lady, 10 o'clock ish, walking to school and was like, wow, <laughs> you over an hour late for school. And I just had a reminder of how many nihilism, hopelessness. And I just look at the desire to have nothing to do, wanting everything with an entitlement mentality, no real desire to work for it, but a desire to get into other things. I am filling my body with and divine love and light. I just realized <laughs> what a God moment. Fill your body with divine love and light. Okay, so I was trying to make it short, but we gonna extend this one. <laughs> A desire to get into something and I will spend more time getting into other things or frustrating and depressing myself than allowing God's plans to proper prosper me and to give me a hope in the future to diminish or not even be an option and we create these generational curses from being depressed, being frustrated, recycling the crap of life. It ain't life, the crap of strife, the waste, the mere existence. It's just sucking air and consuming, not producing anything. God said, be fruitful and multiply. And I even think about a conversation I had earlier with a guy. He ate like six honey buns all in one session and i ain't gonna front honey buns are good but the most sugar you eat the most sugar you crave it's kind of like what you put in you is you and you become addicted to the thing you keep subjecting yourself to until you make a conscious decision for life and I, I, I spoke with him and I said, hey, watch what your cravings are. Because your cravings often lead to, you know, your cravings are often triggered by stress or some void. And a lot of times that void is that lack of relationship with God, that lack of intimate time with the divine light to truly give you life and direction my new prayer is lord guide me in your mercy grace and truth that's my daily prayer guide me in your mercy grace and truth in your true love i want that so in me that that's what i attract that's a prosperity mind I pray for divine relationships. Relationships that I can create on my own. I recognize that I can't do what I do by myself anymore. I, I can't, I can't. I'm just evolving to recognize the safety of interdependence with the right people, with the right relationships and making sure that my first relationship with God stays first. That I don't make idolatry out of a woman, out of a job, out of my kids, out of anything. God is number one. So that void that we, or even sometimes that void of, I haven't done what I'm supposed to do. That thing that God is telling me to do, that purpose that fulfill me. We have a lot that we can accomplish and we have a choice to make it happen or just sitting around and being more depressed because we didn't make a change or a chance.
Oh, so. <laughs> Just remember this. Prosperity attracts real friends, real relationships that are going forward because you set boundaries and you don't and you don't um and you don't um you don't allow um negativity to override in stupidity and lack of prosperity in the relationship meaning I'm not gonna let you take advantage of my situation. I'm not gonna allow us to not be friends through pride. I'm all over the place. Be fruitful and multiply. Don't allow depression to create unnecessary battles when the victory is yours because Jesus did die for you and the battle is in your mind and you have to remind yourself of what God promised for you. Y'all have a good day. Stop being so broken that you can't prosper and multiply.